Have you ever spent an entire day working, but at the end of it, you feel like you've accomplished nothing? You constantly switch between tabs, check your phone every few minutes, and by evening, you're exhausted, yet somehow, empty. Here's a shocking statistic. Microsoft research shows that the average human attention span has dropped from 12 seconds in 2000 to just 8 seconds today. That's less than a goldfish. And the average office worker gets interrupted every three minutes. But here's the uncomfortable truth. The problem isn't laziness. The problem is that your brain has been reprogrammed by shallow work habits. The good news? Science proves you can reverse this. Today, we're diving deep into Cal Newport's deep work and how it literally transforms the physical structure of your brain. What is deep work and why it matters? Cal Newport defines deep work as professional activities performed in a state of distraction-free concentration that push your cognitive capabilities to their limit. It creates new value, improves your skills, and is hard to replicate. The opposite? Shallow work, logistical tasks that don't require much thinking, often performed while distracted. Think checking emails, ineffective meetings, scrolling social media. Newport's deep work hypothesis states, the ability to perform deep work is becoming increasingly rare at exactly the same time it is becoming increasingly valuable in our economy. Those who master this skill will thrive. Look at the evidence. J.K. Rowling rented a hotel room and disconnected from the Internet to write Harry Potter. Bill Gates takes think weeks, completely isolated weeks, just to read and reflect. Carl Jung built a tower in the forest with no telephone. These aren't coincidences. They understood something fundamental about how the brain works. The neuroscience. How deep work rewires your brain. Mechanism 1. Myelination. Building your brain's superhighway. When you focus deeply on a skill, the neurons involved fire signals continuously. This activates cells called oligodendrocytes, which wrap those neural pathways in myelin, an insulating fatty substance that increases signal speed up to 100 times. Daniel Coyle calls myelin the secret of genius in his book The Talent Code. Research from MIT and Stanford confirms that myelin only forms during periods of intense, focused concentration, not during half-hearted, distracted work. Studies of violin players show that elite musicians have significantly thicker myelin in the brain regions controlling their fingers. Here's why multitasking destroys this process. When you split your attention, neurons don't fire strongly or consistently enough to trigger myelination. It's like trying to dig a road by making many shallow holes instead of one deep trench. The conclusion? Deep work builds neural superhighways for your skills. This is why three hours of deep work produces more results than eight hours of distracted work. Mechanism 2. Attention residue. The hidden cognitive tax. Every time you switch tasks, a part of your brain stays stuck on the previous task. Researcher Sophie Leroy from the University of Washington calls this attention residue, and it significantly reduces the cognitive capacity available for your new task. Leroy's experiment divided participants into two groups. Group A switched from task 1 to task 2. Group B completed task 1 fully before moving to task 2. The result? Group B performed significantly better on task 2. Here's a real example. You're writing an important report. A Slack notification pops up. You check it for 30 seconds and return to writing. Even though it was only 30 seconds, your brain is still thinking, do I need to reply? Are they waiting for me? It takes 15 to 20 minutes for your brain to fully clear this residue and return to maximum focus. The cumulative impact is devastating. If you check email 10 times a day, you lose 150 to 200 minutes just waiting for your brain to reboot. That's over three hours of stolen productivity. The deep work solution? Work in uninterrupted time blocks. When you eliminate task switching, your brain operates at peak performance with no drag, no residue. 
Just pure cognitive horsepower. Mechanism 3. Neuroplasticity. Your brain adapts to what you practice. Neurons that fire together, wire together. This principle from neuroscientist Donald Hebb reveals a fundamental truth. Your brain isn't fixed. It changes based on what you repeatedly practice. This is called neuroplasticity. Here are two opposing scenarios. Scenario 1. A brain programmed for distraction. You constantly check social media. Switch tabs. Seek instant dopamine. Your brain learns to be intolerant of boredom. Your prefrontal cortex, the region controlling focus, weakens. Your amygdala, the emotional reaction center, strengthens. You become more impulsive. Scenario 2. A brain programmed for deep work. You practice deep work consistently. Your prefrontal cortex thickens and strengthens. You build resistance to distraction. Your brain learns to be comfortable with difficulty. Harvard neuroscientist Sarah Lazar studied meditation, essentially deep work for the mind. After just eight weeks, MRI scans showed that participants' prefrontal cortex had thickened significantly, while their amygdala, the stress region, had shrunk. Deep work has the same effect on your brain. Another fascinating study examined London taxi drivers. Their hippocampus, the navigation region, was significantly larger than average. Why? They had to engage in deep work to memorize 25,000 streets. This proves that your brain physically changes based on what you practice. Mechanism 4. Dopamine and the reward system. Here's the problem with the digital age. Every notification, every like, every new email delivers a small dopamine hit. Your brain learns to crave instant gratification. When you need to do deep work, which requires prolonged effort before any reward, your brain resists. But deep work retrains your reward system. You teach your brain to delay gratification. You discover satisfaction in the flow state that sense of timeless immersion in your work. According to psychologist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, flow state is the happiest state a human can experience. The result? After a few weeks of deep work, you'll find social media and notifications less appealing. Your brain has been rewired to prefer focus over distraction. The deep work paradox. Here's the paradox. Deep work is hard in the beginning, precisely because your brain hasn't been programmed for it yet. But the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Because your brain is changing. It's like going to the gym. The first session is painful. But your muscles grow stronger. Research shows it takes an average of 66 days to form a habit. With deep work, you'll notice changes within two to three weeks. The real breakthrough comes after two to three months. Don't give up when it feels difficult at the start. That difficulty is the signal that your brain is changing. Action Steps Deep work isn't just a productivity hack. It's a brain transformation protocol. You're not just working more effectively, you're becoming a different person. Here are your action steps. First, start small. Choose one 90-minute block each day for deep work. Second. Eliminate distractions ruthlessly. Turn off your phone. Close your email. Use website blockers. Third, create a ritual. Use the same location and time to signal to your brain that it's deep work time. Fourth, track your progress. Record your deep work hours daily to see your improvement. Here's my question for you. What is your brain being programmed to do right now? Distraction or focus? Every second you delay, your brain is reinforcing old habits. Start today.